Yo, what's up guys, Capmaster here, right from the league start at 324 Necropolis with a big PSA for all Detonate Dead players. Because if you haven't seen yet, meat sacks are back and you can add them to your Desecrate table. And in this video, I'll show you how you boost your damage through the roof. Now, the way Detonate Dead works is by detonating corpses off of the ground and dealing AoE fire damage around them, partially base damage from the gem and partially based on the corpse's life. So when there aren't any corpses or the monsters in the map don't have particularly high health, you can boost your damage a lot by adding specific monsters to your desecrate table so you're more likely to spawn them over other lower life corpses. Now the way this works and how people have been traditionally doing it is you go to the cathedral rooftop or any zone with the same tile set, a belfry map will work as well, and you can find corpses of Kitava heralds either by killing them or by desecrating in this zone because their corpses are in the desecrate table for this zone. Now the way you add them to the desecrate table of your character is by holding the corpse targeting keybind, hovering over the corpse, usually target at the feet, it's a little Little bit wonky with the corpse targeting and then use the skill to summon a spectrified version of the monster and then you can literally take the gem and throw it away because the monster is already in your desecrate table now if you've been playing dd without adding any monsters to your desecrate table this will already be a huge noticeable boost to your damage output and map clearability but as i said in 324 necropolis meat sacks are back on the menu and unlike in the previous league where you could from the breaker of oats and summon them as specters now you can actually add them to your desecrate table as well, which was previously not possible. Now the way you can obtain meat sacks in Necropolis is through all flame embers from the league mechanic, specifically obviously the all flame ember of meat sacks. These all flame embers allow you to replace a population of monster packs in your map with the specific monster that they contain, replacing their pack size and some other attributes. Now once you've obtained your all flame ember of meat sack, you can just put it on any map that you're about to run, preferably do an easy one so you won't have any problems carefully killing and not destroying the corpse of the meat sack. Activate the map, peer through the lantern, and use the all flame ember to replace any of the population in your map with the specific monsters. I don't have any meat sacks here to illustrate, but it works the same with any pack. You just drag and drop. Just make sure you don't put it on a pack with super low density, but the higher the density, the more frequent the occurrence. And once you find a meat sack in the map, make sure you kill it carefully, and as it's on the ground, you can then use the corpse to summon it. Unless, of course, you are unlucky and it has unresolved anguish, then the Undertaker is gonna want it. But you get multiple chances per maps as long as you put it on a high density pack but you don't need the embers of the all flame since the meat sacks are added to the desecrate table of anyone who summoned them as a specter once you can just ask one of your detonate dead friends go to their hideout and get the corpse that way only if your solo cell phone or you don't have any friends that have meat sacks for you you will have to wait for an all flame ember of meat sacks to drop but this time around i'm in a small private league of around 20 people and we had multiple ones of these come up during leveling so i don't think they're particularly rare and anyone should be able to get them on their way to red maps probably multiple times now one thing that i need to point out that doesn't particularly matter for my character because i'm ignite dd elementalist but specifically for the hit based versions and the hit based cast on crit versions on necromancer and inquisitor you want to add more than one of these corpses to your desecrate table so you want to use a higher level of the race specter gem that allows you a higher maximum than one race specter and when you have them in your desecrate table you can just go to your hideout and then keep summoning the meat sacks until you're at your maximum of specters and then you can throw the gem away once again I'm unsure as to the exact numbers here it says they have 800% base life multiplier in another place I've seen someone say that they have 400% versus the Kitava Herald's having 230% but they'll guarantee you a very noticeable improvement in your damage you will actually feel the power of your build increasing once you do this simple trick and if you haven't done so yet do it as quickly as possible at the very least with the Kitava Herald's but if you have meat sacks available go for them and you will thank me later if you're curious about more intricacies of the of the leak mechanic I'm going to be uploading a video where I share everything that I know about it so far. I haven't engaged into, I haven't engaged with the crafting and I haven't been engaging with the crafting a whole lot in particular, but the basic map to map mechanic, but the basic map to map mechanic has some simple caveats that I can explain to you in order to make you use it more efficiently. I'm also going to be uploading a build diary day one update where I can show you what I put together so far and illustrate my choices. If this video helped you in any way, make sure you press like, leave a comment to let me know how your leak start went and what do you think about 324 Necropolis so far. Subscribe to the channel to not miss the upcoming videos about the leak mechanic and my build progress. Best of luck with your further leak start and I'll see you in the next video.